Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom 3 again. I'm actually recording two days in a row, surprisingly. Because I actually have some free time. Shut behind me. Oh, now it opens, of course. Oh, my flashlight went out. No, they destroyed the machines. Come on. Here at the UAC, we make I feel like when I spawned. Yep. Restrooms. You see that? I'm using the mirror. Mm. Where? I want to see something. Mm. Yes, you can. Secret up here is where I'm supposed to go. Hello, hello. Is this reaching anyone? I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. I've locked myself in storage room C4. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me. Please. Okay, maybe I can't even go the other way. I can't even go the other way anyways. Flashlight, real quick. Mm, can't shoot through that. Sorry to disturb you, sir.
Okay, that's where I came from. when those eating things go out. Andrew. 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 Where is Andrew? I'm not seeing him. Alan. Adam. Audio report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff, September 14, 2145. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Alpha Labs. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right word. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary I must be we be allowed our personal life to be left to our family without them. If there is some kind of security, I suggest that UAC security look more detail. Their own this is oh crap, this is a uh, area where you got oxygen. Oh god. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't going away at first. Alright, I gotta make it through here quickly then. There's some friendly Zach on you. Besides the guy with the FG. Audio log for Walter Connors. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. The latest modification I made to the dilation matrix were the real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been the catalyst that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job, and of course I check all of their data to ensure that no mistakes are made. 
This is going to be a huge money maker for the company. And quite honestly, without my input and hard work, I'm not sure that we would have gotten this far. So I wanted also to thank you for your supervisory role in the project. Working with you is a true honor. Just remember me in the end of the year reports as I'm certain I deserve a promotion. That Walter out. Uh, did I not get paid for that anywhere then? Since the dawn of the space age, Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, but pushing those developments to even more daring extremes. With an abundant production of hydrogen fuel, thanks to the hydrocar, the specialist teams ask the big question, can we devise a way to store and deliver that fuel to make the dream of deep space research a reality? The answer has been a resounding yes. Under the direction of Dr. Malcolm Batruga, key UAC scientists have made startling new discoveries in the fields of quantum physics. And with them, they have been able to use the actual space between electrons and protons in a molecule as a storage medium for fuel in our interplanetary and Now, fuel that would once take up half the fuel of an interplanetary ship only occupies a fraction of that space. You are looking at the Molecular Fuel Storage Compactor. The MFS computer is yet another UAC marvel that brings the dream of this and colonizing the most distant planets closer to a reality. The UAC has long made safer worlds for everyone, and now they will bring those worlds even closer than you could ever imagine. Call lift. Go down here first. through here if you can get me off this base. Uh, no guarantees. Come on, I can't wait. Uh, give me a moment. Audio log for Walter Connors. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. Oh, the latest modification I made to the dilation matrix was a real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been the catalyst that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job, and of course I check all of their data to ensure that no mistakes are made. This is going to be a huge money maker for the company. And I have honestly, so many without of my input and hard work, I'm not sure that we would have gotten this far. Was it? I wanted also to thank you for your supervisory role in the project. Working with you is a true honor. Just remember me in the end of the year reports as I'm 
certain I deserve a promotion. No, wait, that won't drop. Four oh nine. Okay, I guess I need to start looking at the text. I forgot I, it was those email as well. But, uh, I thought it was just audio logs for a second there, I forgot there was also the email part. Oh, you're still here, okay. Go walk this slow though. Pick everything. Come on, I can't wait. This one is. Electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out. A big one could knock out our lights. I don't know what's back there. But I kind of just want to follow this There's one. guy. there in the darkness Like they're actually physics with that guy. Punching bag. Crouch, come on, crouch, go. 
because of this one? Yes. And I'm full anyways. So it didn't even matter. Flashlight recharge. Right, don't need it in this area. There's spider enemies now. Now get these guys with the pistol. Okay, there. Don't hit that much. Oh, there's a lot of them. Left. There's a lot of them up there. Uh, they might just keep coming. Okay, I need an access card. Mark. Mark. Ooh, let me do that. This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia, dated November 1st, 2145. I am filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me were all a bunch of idiots. They can't get any of their work done on time, I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow, they don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to 1, 2, 3 because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log. Okay. I suck at claw machines. Fuck. There we go. Guess I gotta dump them.
not good. Yes. Okay. Oh. I think I would be interrupted doing this. Alright, where was I? Do I do all these or just swings that have the green? Just ones that have the green smoke coming out of it. Yeah, I think that's good now. Toxic gas is clear. Toxic gas is clear. Area. Now safe for entry. Gotta pick up the pace. Got more men. Bravo, dude. Bring it up on their own. Clear. Maintenance key four. Seven, I try brute force. It. I'll get one of these sounds. Okay, I'll get one with one of these sounds. down Actually, brute force that one. <laughs> I, I told you I could eventually brute force one. Probably gonna be the only one I'm gonna get. It. Nice. 
dial them off. Might be one more in this hall. Things are normal. Zombie. Could use my pistol there, but. Thank you for that, because I can go to the window. Okay. Alpha Labs. What is going on in the Marine Corps? I was able to locate your position. Warcom systems are beginning to malfunction and shut down. Massive service disruption throughout the entire base. Uh, how long have you been there? Yes, there's something over there. The team has just entered the info. Pick up the thing. You aren't quite behind. I swear I saw something behind these boxes. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, 
and I'll try uploading this and yeah, can't speak recording more videos and uploading more frequently hopefully now uh so see you all next time goodbye